Pisces, this is Nick. I came to bring you guys, you guys, this general tarot reading, okay? Um, you guys, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful early afternoon um, and doing well, okay? Um, I do have some energy here on the board, you guys. It kind of feels to me like it's kind of job related. Um, it kind of, as I was meditating over this energy, I just took some notes. So it kind of feels like it was either something to do with some type of collaboration falling apart, um, some kind of contract loss, maybe job loss, definitely fear of singleness and finding out about somebody cheating. Okay. And it, the cheating could possibly be business related. Okay. So this, this situation here with this support, this collaborate, this collaboration, um, apprenticeship, planning, learning, goals, teamwork, commitment. This could have even been school, okay? Um, hard work, something to do with some type of business endeavor. Something is affected here, okay? Now, this could be somebody that somebody is seeing, okay, here in this situation, or it's just fell apart, okay? Um, maybe um, somebody lost a job, okay? Maybe somebody's dealing with a hater at work or a hater at school or somebody who is just not... Um, you know, when you have teams, sometimes, you know, there's personality clashes. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's just not on somebody's team. Somebody is um, very manipulative here. Um, they're, they're, somebody's logical. Somebody's thinking about a situation. And the situation is the investment. Investing their time, their energy, their money, resources, whatever the case, into this Three of Pentacles, okay? But not only that, also into this romance. We'll talk about that in a second, okay? Um, but definitely being analytical about this, okay? I don't know if somebody is thinking about leaving okay um or detaching but um some type of structure is um is is at at um at stake here okay um some type of power struggle possibly all right um somebody um ethics maybe a question of ethics um um but somebody is being strict somebody's using some type of self-discipline look law laws here okay so if somebody could be in legal troubles behind this this could be some kind of contract that wasn't um honored or, uh, you know, maybe fraudulent of some type of sort. Okay. Um, nonetheless, somebody has definitely invested into this, um, collaboration, this team, uh, member teamwork, uh, you know, um, school learning, they, they've invested in this. Okay. But I see somebody not feeling very well about this. And the reason why is because there's delayed success here. Okay. Uh, somebody definitely wanted gestation. Um, some type of lack of vision is taking place, okay? Definitely wanted to see some type of results, some type of growth or either lack thereof. Wanting to cultivate something, okay, when it comes down to this collaboration and also this romance. Um, uh, definitely persevering, okay? Trying to overcome difficulties and um, definitely wanting their hard work to pay off, okay? Listen, something is coming to an end in work and in love, okay? Um, something is ending, okay? So like I said, somebody either lost the job already or is going to be losing the job, Going to be walking away, going to be changing partnerships, um, collabing with somebody else, okay? And also, something is coming to an end about something somebody found out. Some type of truth came out, okay? About um, a marriage, possibly, or a higher connection, baby mama, baby daddy, okay? Um, some type of truth came out, um, maybe through an argument. Maybe somebody lied to try to protect somebody. But there is an indifference here, okay? I don't know how much optimism is left here, okay? When it comes down to somebody finding out this truth that has come out about somebody dating, somebody offering somebody another, uh, somebody a romantic proposal here. Okay. Somebody has, has, is, is, is spending time with somebody dating somebody, um, you know, really following their heart here in a situation. This is the moon. Okay. So there's something hidden going on here. Okay. There is something that will be coming to the light. Definitely. Maybe even more truth than, 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 than you've already gotten. If this is you. Okay. You or your person are cross watcher. Okay. But definitely some type of deception, secrets, misconception, hidden information, and maybe even fearful. Okay. Then I got the nine of pentacles. So somebody definitely is an entrepreneur here. Somebody's definitely into their business. 
Um, they're definitely self-reliant or want to be, okay? I think there's a fear here, though, in, for a couple of reasons, all right? Um, material security is here. Achievement is here. Success is here, okay? Thriving business is here with this collaboration, with this teamwork, with this networking, okay? But I think it's a fear here because something is changing, okay? And maybe the fear as far as this independence goes is you know, um, not, not being able to, um, be as self-reliant, self as, as independent as somebody wants to be, or somebody is used to being. Okay. Also, when it comes down to this relationship, somebody may be fearful about being single. Okay. After, you know, this, this ending, okay. It's uh, occurred. Okay. And the, they didn't really, know, you know, look, this is not a choice. Okay. I mean, it, it's a choice. Everything is a choice, but things are so bad with this situation for whoever this read is for, okay, that somebody had to fall back, okay? Four of Swords is the last energy, you guys. Um, you know, this is solitude. This is loneliness, anxiety, um, endings, grief, stress, definitely need to rest. Fear is here again. Somebody is fearful, Okay. And like I said, I truly believe they're fearful one of not being as independent as they want to be, or that they are used to being also fearful, um, of maybe possibly this legal issue. Okay. So that's three things, actually this legal issue that, that some of you guys might have to encounter here and, um, and also fear of being single. Okay. Because you're going to have to find a new norm. Okay. Uh, without this person in your life, if, if, if this is a, a ending, ending, okay? But definitely recuperation, introspection, thinking a lot about this, thinking a lot about the business. I see more business than I see the love, okay? So I feel like somebody is is paying a lot more attention to like the business situation and it not going the way somebody wants it to go here, okay? Than anything else. But definitely self-protection, self-protection, retreating and definitely overwhelmed, okay? Listen, self-protection in every sense of the word okay it's almost like um somebody is not gonna come off their morals somebody is not gonna come off their values and somebody is not gonna come off of what they know to be true okay so if that is what's being challenged okay it's that you know your truth okay in, in, in your knowledge in your expertise okay if that is what is being challenged somebody definitely is not going to be coming up off of that here and also um they're going to be very self-protection, self-protected because um, Aries, a lot, one thing about Aries is, and if this is for Aries, it could be for a cross watcher. But um, one thing about Aries is when you guys know something, you know it. Okay. Um, you guys have a lot of information about a lot of different things. Okay. And especially if some of you guys, Aries that's been in a field for a certain long time, I mean, you know, no, I'm not going to say no sign can really compare, but at the same time, Aries really does know what they're talking about nine times out of 10. If Aries is talking about it, they have a vast amount of information about it. Okay. So I can see where somebody would be self protective. If this is an Aries over what they know to be true. Okay. Um, so this is what we're dealing with you guys. And this is, this is a lot. I don't see much, you know, about, uh, t t the, you know, finding out the truth about this, some of y'all might cheating here, okay? Somebody could have been cheating too with a co-worker, all right? Somebody could have found that out with a co-worker, um, a team member's network, collaboration, some type of business dealings, um, you know, maybe they took a business trip and cheated, you know, something to that degree and that came out. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, Aries, much love to my day ones, you guys. Um, you guys, thank you so much for still being here with me. Um, to my new and recent subscribers, you guys, I really appreciate you accepting my invitation to subscribe. You guys, I am very happy that you are here. If you guys have not let me know that you are new to the channel, please go in the comment section below. Let me know that you're new so that I can give you a warm welcome to the channel that you deserve, all right? Um, for the ones that have not subscribed, you guys, please accept my invitation to subscribe. There are so many things that are going on on this channel, okay? This channel loves to give, and this channel is full of love the community is vibing high you know um, a lot of us are on spiritual journeys and everybody who is you know positive and positive and moving forward positively is definitely welcome here at any time okay um, my comments are open you guys are welcome to express yourself I love to see you guys I have a hands-on relationship with my subscribers who have let themselves be known to me I love to see and hear from you guys okay um, but for every 100 new subscribers somebody will definitely get a free read I will definitely find 
find you. My mystery grabs are very fun. They're very random. Set your notification bells because it could be at any time of the night, any time of the day. It's just when I feel like um, announcing it, sometimes I'll give you 10, 15 minutes, you know, to get, you know, five, six people to contact me and I'll be giving things away. Okay. Um, so set your notification bells on that. Um, my uh, monthly winners, you guys. I choose a monthly winner once a month. I announce it on the community page as well as the Mr. Rabs. That will also be announced on the uh, community page as well, okay? Um, but uh, yeah, so that consists of that winner, that monthly winner does have um, a choice between items and reads, okay? Um, you guys, comment, comment, comment. I always say that because the higher, um, the more I see you, the higher your chances are to win, okay? We are headed to 10K, you guys, okay? We are still a toddler. We are baby in this thing. Okay, listen, we're in our lane, y'all, but we're growing. Okay, we only have YouTube, so it has been you guys this is the reason why I have so much appreciation and love for you guys. And I always say the things that I say because this channel is YouTube only. Okay, there's no Instagram, no TikTok, no Facebook, no nothing. It's been because of you guys, okay, that this channel has grown. So I have so much love and appreciation and respect for you guys. Um, and but for so every 10,000, which we're going to be reaching here soon, we're just a little bit over a year, you guys. Um, I will be giving away really nice gifts, okay. So this particular 10,000, which we're right around the corner from, you guys, subscribe, 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 okay, because everything as far as my discount. As far as my giveaways, as far as my monthly winners, all that stuff is for verified subscribers only, okay? So, including this, okay? This right here is a Louis Vuitton pouch purse, okay? Little thing that hooks onto your purse is a coin purse, okay? It also hooks onto your keys, okay? Females know about this, all right? Listen, this is a limited edition. Um, I am giving this away. Um, to once I hit 10K, somebody will be getting this for free. All right. It is a very cute. It is limited edition, like I said. It is going to be coming as original packaging. It is authentic and it does have serial numbers and everything. Yeah, this is the cutest thing, y'all. I mean, I'm just saying, it just really just is. Like, I really want to take this and go put this on my purse. I have other ones, you guys, like um on my bags, but I don't have a puppy. And that one is really, really cute. And I was like, that one is gonna be very special that I give away because that's something I want myself, you know. But anyway, if you are a dude and you guys um, are the winner of that, okay, um, and you don't want the cute little puppy, okay, then you can give it to your um, your wife, your girlfriend, your mother, your sister, or somebody like that, okay, because they will absolutely positively love it, all right? Um, you guys, um, if you are interested in any one of my plans, okay, as far as personal reads, VIP, chat with Nikki Extended, all of that stuff, all that information is going to be in the description box, okay? My plans, the description of my plans, and the pricing is in the description box, as well as my email is concerned, okay? If any one of you guys are going through heartbreak or dealing with a karmic relationship in love, okay? I'm trying to heal from that. I have some articles that I wrote here not too long ago, um, uh, healing from heartbreak, and also um, I believe it's healing from karmic relationships. The karmic relationship is a very, very good read. I've already had feedback from that, and it, it they've told me that it's helped a lot, okay? It's a four-minute read, so it's not long. It costs you nothing to go over there and read that. It'll help you if you're going through those things, and I invite you, okay, to go check that article, those blogs out, okay? Um, that address, uh, the website is hrhnikkitarot.com, hrhnikkitarot.com, okay? That is also located in my description box, okay? So, <clears throat> you guys, I have already prayed over these clarifiers, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I have asked for truth, revelation, confirmation, guidance, consolation, peace, and protection. As I give Jesus Christ all the praise, the honor, and the glory, okay? So this is what we're expecting in this read. We're expecting uh, truth, okay? We're expecting consolation and confirmation and guidance, okay? Um, so you guys... This is a job-related situation. Somebody just lost their job, okay? They lost a contract. They're concerned about a contract. They're concerned about a, co a collaboration. They're concerned about some type of networking. Seems to me like something is being cut off or somebody is dealing with a hater, okay, in any of those, those areas, all right? Somebody is also... Um, getting to the truth of the matter in a situation to of a love situation. Okay. Um, somebody has been seeing somebody else. Somebody has been, uh, you know, showing up uh, for somebody else. 
Um, and this relationship is damn near over, okay? There has been a lot of secrets here, okay? Deception, misconceptions, hidden information, illusions, and delusions, okay? There's a lot of fear here, Aries, okay? Um, and the fear here is, I believe, the job situation. I believe maybe somebody may be fearful of... Um, you know, not being able to be as independent um, or, you know, falling off of their path or falling behind a little bit um, because of this job situation or fearful for being alone, okay, or possibly fearful for a, a legal matter, okay, that somebody might have to be in court about, okay. So, um, let's, we're going to go ahead and start clarifying this. Um, understand that cross watcher energy can and will get involved in this. You guys cross watcher. I want you guys to know that I love cross watchers. Just like I love Aries. You guys, you guys are more than welcome to watch the uh, video, my, this video and any other one of my videos. Okay. If this is not you, excuse me, if this is not Aries and this is you. Okay. Or you got Aries in your chart and, um, and you're another sign and this resonates. Um, if you can please do me a favor and go in the comment section, let me know. I'm doing a lot of research. You guys, I'm trying to, um, correlate. Okay. I'm finding a lot of correlations on how, um, energy interchanges between signs in my reads. Okay. So it will be helping me out an awful lot. If you go down there and do that for me. Okay. Love you cross watcher. All right, y'all let's get busy. Holy spirit, this support, this collaboration, you know, apprenticeship, planning, goals, school, teamwork, commitment. What is this for your sons and your daughters? Something is very restrictive here. Something is very um, toxic here in this, this area. Um, there could have been um, lies that were told. But somebody's restricted here. And somebody is falling back from this. Oh, I got the four swords again up here. Okay, and last energy, okay? So it's definitely job-related. Somebody is restricted. Um, somebody has been lied to. Somebody might have a hater, okay? Um, there may have been, like I said, some type of fraudulent activity when it comes down to some contracts, okay? Um, if you're in school, this could be a situation to where as, um, you know, maybe you didn't get the grade that you deserved or the degree or something to that degree, you guys. Um, somebody already had a feeling about this. Okay. High priestess is here. Somebody already had a feeling like maybe they should, if whatever this business collaboration thing is, somebody already felt before they jumped out here that, you know what, maybe I should, should not indulge in this or deal with these people. Okay. And somebody is telling yourself that. I, I knew better, okay? Somebody definitely is using mind over matter when it comes down to this. Self-awareness. Being brave, even though somebody is fearful, okay? Give me King of Swords. But something dang sure got cut off here. Yeah, see, it's an egg. Six of Cups came out. King of Swords. Give me one more for King of Swords. Because, yeah, see, this is an ex situation, okay? Something definitely got cut out of, uh, um, of somebody's life when it comes down to um, the school, work, collaboration, whatever, okay? Listen, it's something affected somebody's three of wands, all right? Listen, this three of wands is dreams coming true, okay? It's foresight. It's going for forward momentum. It's exploring, okay? Something has gotten cut out. Something has gotten cut out or got in the way of somebody's dreams here, Okay? They put in, but we got seven of pentacles. They damn, they dang sure put in, okay, to this. So somebody is definitely not happy about this. Give me the seven of pentacles. Somebody's not happy about this, you guys, at all. Like this is, this is causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of grief, needing to rest, stress, fear, introspection, thinking a lot about this, okay? It's almost like they're overthinking this. Remember. It's like they're overthinking this. This is overwhelming them. They need to rest, but it's bothering them. And they didn't have any choice but to fall back. It's like, I don't know if you were made to fall back or cross watcher was made to fall back or recuperate, or this is just something that you just knew that you had to do. Okay. 
about to see. I believe it was a hater of some type of sort. Somebody was in competition. Maybe somebody tried to sabotage. There's a lot of ego clashing here. Personality and differences. When it comes down to this delayed success, this lack of vision, this hard work not paying off, this standing in the way of dreams coming true. Maybe somebody wanted your position. Give me this death. Maybe somebody wanted your position. But definitely competition. Ego clashing, ob obstacles, opposition, definitely not being on the same page, maybe possibly being looked over. Give me that. Somebody is having an ending. This is sad. Because somebody's dreams is, is, is like really not taking off here at all. It's like, yeah, see, whatever ended is somebody, somebody built a boundary up. They put some type of restrictions in place. Maybe the rules changed here, okay, in this job collaboration or something like that. But somebody definitely became guarded, okay? And they're like, you know what? They're standing their ground. They're building boundaries. It's over. Something is transforming. They're starting a new beginning. And this new beginning that they're starting, they're damn sure going to be having boundaries and put in place, okay? Okay. I feel like this is what I feel like somebody was supposed to be in a leadership position and maybe somebody with this five of wands and these haters over here. Maybe they wanted the position of this leadership position of some type of sort. Y'all, it's, it's it got something to do with some type of money. OK, but there will be a new beginning. OK, so somebody will be moving on here. OK, action is being taken place. OK. There is going to be a new beginning here. It's almost like when one door closes, another one opens. You know what I'm saying? Give me Queen of Swords, because Queen of Swords and found something out here. They got to the truth for some type of matter here. Somebody could be pregnant as well, or somebody could have just had a baby, or somebody, you know, got a baby up and around them, or something to that degree. Whatever Queen of Swords found out, whatever Queen of Swords is protective over, listen, this has been a long time coming. It's almost like somebody already knew, okay? So it's like the, the sequence of events that have unfolded is really not surprising somebody. I think it's upsetting somebody. I think it hurts somebody, but I don't think it's necessarily really surprising somebody because it almost has a feeling of like this was a long time coming. You see what I'm saying? This was a long time coming. Virgo Taurus Capricorn got something to do with this. This was somebody, this is the person, you guys. This is the person that's been out here dating that Queen of Swords found out about, okay? Somebody found out that somebody's been dating for a while, okay? Um, somebody's been awful comfortable, um, comfortability, abundant, um, pretty arrogant, okay? I got Queen of Coins here, all right? So I got a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that could be on the scene, a Leo, excuse me, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces possibly, Scorpio, so Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, all right? So listen, somebody has been dealing with this person, all right? This person, like I said, I see pregnancy here. So, you know, you or your person... Whoever found out could have found out about somebody, you know, having a baby or dealing with the baby mama, a baby daddy, or got somebody pregnant. 
or maybe giving the money to somebody here with Queen of Coins to maybe support their lifestyle to a certain degree. Somebody found this out. And somebody found this out, this was a long time coming. It's almost like they knew for a while, intuitively, okay? Like, they just knew, but it's not, it wasn't like maybe proof at one point in time, and now it's proof of it, is what it kind of feels like to me. With this cheating, So I don't know about this queen of coins. Could be a dude too, you guys. It doesn't necessarily have to be a female. Give me the um, queen of coins, Holy Spirit. Definitely, because you got the nine of cups to the queen of coins. Okay. And you got the nine of cups right below that, all right? So this is definitely somebody being a hopeless romantic, tactful, attraction, following their heart, dating, charming, true, and feeling like it's true romance, okay? You guys hit the thumbs up button, please, for me before I forget to ask. I appreciate that. Thank you. Give me nine of cups, Holy Spirit, please. Because, uh, yeah, this person been really... I mean, it's saying true romance. Like, this, they, like, really feeling each other. The chemistry is very high here between both of them. Somebody definitely doesn't want to let somebody go here. And four of wands. We got four coins and four of wands. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. With this here romantic proposal... Okay, that somebody done found out about. This is somebody doesn't want to let somebody go. Somebody is possessive. Somebody is possessive over somebody who they look at as a twin flame soulmate connection. Um, somebody who maybe they celebrated something recently with. Okay, somebody that they travel to or with. Maybe relocation. Okay. Possibly marriage. Give me the moon. Because this this right here. Give me the moon, Holy Spirit. What is this? Because. Oh, okay. We got a liar, a cheater, a killer, a stealer, a thief, a fake, a phony. Somebody who is calculating. Somebody who walked off with something. Somebody might walked off with somebody's possessions. is a snake what else about this moon the hell somebody don't want this shit no more somebody don't want it no more somebody found out somebody did way too much here okay somebody got somebody pregnant somebody dealt with somebody at their job Somebody could have different backgrounds that they dealt with. You know, I got, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, could have been different. I don't know. Give me more about this moon. Somebody don't want, somebody don't want this deception no more. This illusion, this delusions, this misconceptions. They don't want it. They don't want um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They don't want this love if it's not a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Give me nine of Pentacles. This is self-reliant, okay? I remember I told you somebody's scared of this or um, losing this, but this is what somebody wants. They want this self-reliance. They want this wealth, success, achievements. 
Yeah, they're ready. They're ready for a cycle to end out. They won't want to begin. Okay, they really um, they're they're thinking about a lot of options. That they have a whole lot of you know infinite possibilities. You guys with the world here. Okay, something definitely coming to completion. But something is somebody is definitely willing to continue to invest in something. Okay, somebody definitely. Wait a minute. Here we go. You. This is Aries. This is Aries. Um, Leo Sagittarius. Something's going to change. Somebody might get back together with somebody or somebody may have been married before or may get married here. Give me the four swords. Because this is the solitude, the anxiety, the grief, the loneliness, stress, endings, needing to rest, recuperation, overwhelm. Been doing a lot of introspection, self-protection, retreating. Because somebody had to cut something off here, okay? I believe it's the, the job or the three of pentacles, the teamwork, collaboration, networking, whatever. And also because of this, um, this liar, this cheater, this killer, this stealer, this thief, fake and phony. Somebody has been fighting here with somebody as well. Arguing, disputes, okay? Intimidating, intimidation, bullying, possibly domestic violence. That might be the legal issue here, okay? So this is what I do have for you, Aries. This is definitely love and work related, and this is loss, okay? But it's not just loss. We got the aces of... of um the ace of wands here okay so something will be um turning around some a new beginning will happen another door is going to open okay and when this door opens with this here world card this is going to close out a cycle okay um where's the world this is definitely going to close out a cycle yeah, this is going to close out a cycle, okay? And it's going to begin a new one, all right? So that's where that Ace of um, Wands is going to end up, all right? So let me tell y'all who's on the board. Everybody's here, okay? So this might hit home for a lot of people. Um, we got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody don't want this shit no more. Leo, Pisces, Capricorn. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Everybody's here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, everybody's here. Okay, so this is going to hit home with, with a lot of people. Okay, um, but yeah, just understand you do got the Ace of Wands and the world in your energy. Okay, so keep your head up. Okay, period. Because I don't know exactly what's going on, but it doesn't seem like, you know, it's the, there's a change that's fixing to happen is what I'm trying to say. And let me see something real quick. One, two. Three. There's a, okay, listen, there's going to be a change, okay? Definitely, all right, because we already talked about that. But what the change also is, you've got so many magical arcanas here. Um, listen, this is a life-changing change, okay? Something is going with you. Some of you Aries, whoever this um, resonates for, puzzle pieces, you guys, you know me, okay? So whoever this resonates for, listen, this is going to take, change the trajectory of your life. So this right here may feel like a lot of... Um, a lot of doors closing, right? Or a lot of, um, you know, um, frustration. But I'm looking for my Oracle deck, you guys. So I'm looking around because I want to pull an Oracle card for you. And I just had them. Okay. But, um, yeah. So this, so this is the reason why this is happening, you guys, is because it's getting you on a different life path. All right. You'll still be able to have your dreams come true. You're still showing up as Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So listen, 
that leaves you wide open, okay, as far as new love is concerned. And then on top of that, it's still abundance, all right? Nine of Pentacles is just missing one, one pinnacle, okay, in order to be married. So, you know, listen, the self-reliance, the independence, you know, um, the, you know, um, you know, being able to take care of things yourself and without somebody else being there, that is very much so still in your energy, okay? So let's go ahead and get you an oracle here. Because anytime I get a lot of uh, major arcanas, I like to pick that because, especially from this day. So let's see here. Yeah, somebody is definitely going through it. I feel a, I feel lost. Like, I feel a sense of loss, you know, like somebody. But you know what? Even though I feel a sense of loss, you guys, because I'm picking up energy from this read, I need for you to understand that I can feel the energy, but I can also decipher it, all right? And it's not, it's not just loss. What it is is, is it's change, okay? Change is... It is, is disguising itself as a feeling of loss, okay? Because I'm feeling the feeling of loss. But however, what it really just is, is really change. I feel that even more prevalent, okay? Now, change can feel like loss, all right? Because there is a new norm that is going to have to happen, all right? Holy Spirit, for your, for your sons and your daughters. These ones have numbers on there too, so these numbers might be a little these these numbers might be relevant, okay? I'll get one more for you. For your sons and your daughters, for your boy. Is there anything else? I was going to get one more, but I'm feeling too much energy. So many Aries. All right, here we go. I'm just going to... All right, so we got number 32. We got escapists. Come home to yourself, okay? So somebody, like I said, is really, really feeling um, like they, you know, this could be trying, you know, some type of escapism behavior, okay? Trying to uh, dodge the truth, maybe not want to realize the truth, okay, of what's going on or even deal with it. We got number 32 or 23, but what this is saying is, is um, come home to yourself, okay? Come home to yourself. We got 34 or 43 here. Voyage, you already have all the answers. I remember I told you guys in that read, you already have all the answers. You already knew, okay? We got number one, princess. You can be your own knight, okay? You can be your own knight. You don't need nobody to rescue you, okay? Um, we got uh, 24 or 42. Potion, remember to practice self-love. Don't forget about that, Aries. Practice self-love, okay? We got mirror, Trust your trust your body like the palace. Treat your body like the palace it is. Treat your body like the palace you is. You guys, watch what you eat. You know, all that fast food and grease and stuff like that. You know, I know sometimes when we're going through, we just want to eat. You know what I'm saying? So remember, treat your body. Okay, um, good. Okay, so number uh, thirty here. Oh, that was number four, and this is number thirty. Okay, so castle. It's time for healing and not war. Okay, heal. Okay, not war. So that is for some of you guys, okay? And um, and I hope this has helped you guys. My goal, as always, is to put one piece together for you guys, okay? If I was able to put one piece together for you, then I have definitely done my job. I would really appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon, Aries. I love you dearly. Cross watcher.